ఓకే జస్ట్ స్కైప్ లాగిన్ అయిపో సారీ స్కైప్ కదా మన ఎస్ఎపి లాగిన్ అవ్వు అది అవసరం లేదులే ఎస్ఎపి లాగిన్ అవ్వు త్రా చూసుకోవచ్చు ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ కోవచ్చు సో నా వాట్ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ ఈస్ వీ విల్ గోయింగ్ టు క్రియేట్ వన్ అసెట్ ఓకే సో యూజింగ్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ కోడ్ ఏఎస్ జీరో వన్ సో గో టు ద ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ కోడ్ ఏఎస్ జీరో వన్ సో వీ విల్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ద టెస్టింగ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దాట్ టెస్టింగ్ సో నా వీ హ్యావ్ టు హ్యావ్ ది ఎగ్జాక్ట్ పారామీటర్స్ టు సీ ద డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఆన్ ద పర్టికులర్ అసెట్ so to uh, to get that parameters okay we will going to use the uh, asset transaction code that is as01 go to the transaction code as01 in the as01 we do have asset classes so first we will going to create one asset using normal plant and machinery it's not a uh, uh, asset under construction right so go to the uh, give the company code and give the asset class so number of uh, similar assets will be one okay that means one to one session will be there and uh, you can able to have the asset classes uh, go to that drop down option automatically you can able to find out by company code Yes, sir, K1, uh, P and D, P and M is there, right? This is the only thing, yes, sir, K1, P and L. Click on the enter. Hmm. now just give the plan, a description as plant and machinery give the plan, uh, capitalization date that is 01.11.2023 so then next go to the time dependent area if you have any business areas uh, for your uh, asset uh, acquisitions and all okay so you can able to have it so that is the business area okay if you have the business area you can able to 
taking it. Otherwise, that is not at all important. All right, so when it comes to the uh, depreciation areas, OK, allocation allocations we we are not going to do. OK, when it comes to the origins, net worth, the taxes and insurance, there will be a few uh, relational tabs. No controlling area has been assigned to the company code. OK, go to the allocations. You do one thing, so remove the uh, go to the cancel button. I think so. It is in a required mode. Yes, and click on the enter once again. Give the description, and directly you can just go to the depreciation uh, areas tab. Depreciation areas tab. Mm. Now, when it comes to the depreciation key, what about the depreciation key like a SLM WDAV? So, strike line method we have created and um, written down value method we have created. Okay, so just to give the uh, depreciation key as a strike line method key. Not bad log value, Chudu. What is the depreciation key that you have maintained? Depreciation key is in code and the create is no class in here. All the practices now. Go to that thing and give uh, SR1 or anything. You can able to find out. No, no, no. Go to that first drop down option. And search it for one thing, whether the SR1 is there or not. Is cool. Then useful life of, of the periods will be any any uh, useful life of the periods. Take out that one man. SLM a plant and machinery. SRK one depreciation key. Useful life is uh, three years. And depreciation start date is zero one dot uh, eleven dot uh, two thousand twenty three. Now go to the save button and save it. So it is again asking no control area has been assigned to a company code. Cost center should be a uh, optional position. Can you open this thing? No controlling area has been assigned to the company code. OK, for this thing, basically it is it is it's not the exact configuration, but the thing is that uh, when the cost center is in required mode, OK, automatically it will throw uh, one error. So for this thing, what we need to do is we will going to create one controlling area. So that is the a most perfect way to do this thing. OK. So you do one thing, take out the new session. Take out the new session, go to the SPRO reference IMG.
go to the SPR go. Uh, reference IMG and enterprise structure. Enterprise structure. Definition. Controlling. Maintain controlling area. Mm, copy, delete, check uh, controlling area. Sorry, sorry, maintain controlling area. Come back. So we are not going to copy any controlling area. We will going to try to give the controlling area. Go to the new entries. Go to the new entries and just give the controlling area as company code. Just give the controlling area as company code. SR K See whatever the company code you have, just give the that company code in the controlling area. OK, so no need to have any person responsible. No need to have any names also and assign assignment control is um, controlling area same as company code. It's not a cross company code. So the next one currency. Give the currency as INR. Sorry, currency type. It's asking company code currency. I think so. So go to the drop down option and give the company code currency. Take out that thing. Okay, good. Uh, fiscal year variant. Everything is perfect, right? And uh, chart of accounts is SROC. Okay, go to the server and save it. Okay, once we define the controlling area we need to assign the um, I mean controlling area to the company code for that. So come back one step back. See this is just a, a introduction of the controlling area all of you. So we will be going to discuss all these things, but the thing is that you need to know uh, what is the exact uh, um, thing that is happening. First it is asking about the cost center. So for that particular cost center, we need to have the controlling area on our company code. OK, so come back. One step back. Mm, yes. OK, so uh, remove this thing. Remove this thing. Uh, there is an enterprise structure and we do have the assignments. Uh, close this thing. Come down. There is assignment. Come down. Open this thing assignment controlling and assign company code to controlling area. Good. So double click on this uh, uh, controlling uh, area and go to the assignment of uh, company code. Go to the new entries and just give the company code. Give your company code. Click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. Now, what we need to do is all of you, once uh, the company code is assigned to the controlling area and we need to check OK, control indicators folders on uh, of the particular controlling area or OK, like a cost centers and all. Good, so come back and uh, SPR controlling. Come now, uh, close all these things directly. You do have the controlling tab. Open this controlling come down. General controlling. Organization. And uh, maintain controlling area. Select your controlling area and uh, click on uh, active components. Uh, go to the maintain controlling area. Maintain controlling area and select your controlling area. Mm. Go to the position and give the controlling area. Activate components or control indicators folders. 
we can call it as go to the new address. And what is the year? Um, you can just give the 2023. That's it. And the cost center uh, is not active. OK, no issue. And uh, component actor and we will go into activate all these things. OK, so there is no issue. First, we need to have the year. Uh, so then in the asset accounting, it will not going to ask you the. Thing OK, go to the separate and separate. Mm, continue. OK, so this data was saved. Then what we need to do. So uh, go back to this uh, AS01 transaction code. Go back to the AS01 transaction code. Mm. Uh, give slash n and once again come back to the AS01 transaction code. Come back to the AS01 transaction code. Uh, click on the enter. Now just give the description and the capitalization date. No need to have any time dependent areas. Go to the uh, depreciation areas directly and just give the depreciation key is for life and uh, uh, capitalization date starting date. We can call it as. Hmm. Right, uh, go to the save it and save it. So this asset has been created. That means uh, our error has been resolved. So the main important thing is that uh, see whenever uh, you are having those servers like if you uh, if you have changed the modification again it would give you the error okay for that thing we need to change the configurations right uh, so that could be the possible reason right basically okay so if you i mean basically you have changed one thing but when you are uh, creating one asset automatically that notification will be popped up that is not notification. We can call it as an error. OK, so basically whatever the errors that we are facing, OK, that should be uh, assigned to the any particular indicators. That means each and every concept is interrelated to the another concept. OK, so they basically they will just ask you one question. OK, how you can able to maintain uh, these things? OK. So the next one is we have created uh, the assets. OK, you can just write down the asset. What is the asset that you have created? 91, right? 90, zero, basically. OK, right. so the next one is we will going to create one sub asset. OK, see our main asset is bike. Suppose uh, uh, if any damage is happened, if any damage is happened, what will going to do all of you? So they will not going to give you the entire new bike. OK, so they will just replace that part. OK, whatever the damage part that we have. OK, they will just replace it and take Okay, bike on the moment. Okay, China accident I in the end. Total bike this coach Malin we give her get on. So thank you. Okay, part of the name assets look good. Okay, sub part asset and I don't know that matter. So that is go to the transaction code is 11 and uh, based on that. Uh, uh, sub us uh, sorry based on that main asset. Okay, we will go into have the sub asset. Mm. So, e mana mana same asset 900 and asset ni create chase and gather asset automatically just in the matter. Okay, Uchina asset ni mana we put in your stomach basically e asset acquisitions so sub asset key mana create jesse petin stomach matter. Okay, that is the main point that we have right now. Okay, so sub assets ni create chatum chala chala important of you. Okay, don't neglect it. Right, uh, click on the enter directly so in the description based on the uh, main asset it will going to have the uh, description right so you can just give plant and machinery spare part one automatically you will going to have a one thing so plant and machinery spare part one 
OK, and the capitalization date will be the same thing. That is um, 01.11.2023. OK, good. So go to the uh, depreciation areas. Automatically you will going to have uh, the depreciation key and the useful life and the depreciation standard. Why? Because see whenever you buy the assets, you just give the support, right? OK, so those uh, I mean spare parts should be there in that particular organization or uh, in any suppliers. OK, so we will going to have the sub assets. OK. Uh, so I mean, when it comes to the vendor things and all, we will just give you the information. Okay, these are all the sub assets we have, okay. and you can just able to have the things. So client will going to change each and everything. Okay, so go to the save button and save. That's it. No need to do any changes, all of you. So based on that uh, main assets, we have created the sub asset, right? Go to the save button and save it. OK, take out this um, uh, uh, sub asset and uh, just give the sub asset in the sub asset configuration. OK, the next one is we will going to um, acquire the uh, one asset from the vendor that is acquisition from a, a purchase with vendor, right? Uh, uh, we will going to use the transaction code F-90. Go to the transaction code F-90. So we will going to acquire the asset. All right. Uh, so you can just give the document date, same document date. You can just give 24.11.2023. And uh, period is, so just give the period. It is the period and then give the uh, type that is KR and give the company code. OK, you do one thing. Basic thing is that you are giving document data and uh, the depreciation will be calculated from this day. So actual capitalization date was uh, uh, 01.11.2023, right? So what we need to do is one of in JLA and take a document date law. So just give uh, 01.11.2023. So in the context, we can get clarity on the first. Uh, and the first niche money month first niche is coach. You put date in January is coach all of you. Okay, but based on that capitalization date, capitalization date ni change is going to use going to make it only difference to the financial statement voice shows law. Okay, so I give the reference as uh, asset one and document header text is purchase asset from vendor. Purchase asset from vendor. So posting key is 31, right? Uh, so after that, so you are purchasing the vendor. So when you are purchasing the vendor, okay. So we do have the posting that is thirty one, right? So uh, the thirty one in that thirty one. So whatever the vendor that you want to have, so you can have it. The next one is uh, just give the account as vendor account. Give the account as vendor account. So we do have created the vendor account, right? On your company code, you do have vendors. Take out the vendor. So 
So now what we need to do is asset transaction type is very, very important all of you. So is it related to the acquisition or is it related to the external acquisitions and um, is it related to the acquisitions in the group areas and goods issues on goods receipt acquisitions for settlements of orders? Number of um, things will be there. So basically, uh, we just buy the asset uh, once a time, right? So on after that, you guys to be perfect in uh, transaction type names. OK, in interview, they will just ask you the questions on the transaction type. Like about the mirror and their transaction types, you know, two, three and a chip they will going to satisfy. OK, um, when it comes to the transaction type, you can just give uh, external uh, asset acquisitions. Uh, uh, open the transaction type here, right side. There is a transaction type that is TT type. T type. T type. So open the T type. T type on the Like about the asset transaction type on the ATT and on the other. You could have the asset transaction type. Yes. Take out the go to the drop down option. Here you do have the external acquisitions. So in the asset external acquisitions, take out the asset external acquisition. Double click on asset external acquisition. Uh, good. Click on the enter. So automatically it will take you to the no amount. Uh, so change the tolerance group. Change the tolerance group first. Go to the F-90 transaction code and give all the parameters. OK, so give the amount. Uh, so whatever the amount that you want to have, you can just have it. Uh, suppose uh, now we can able to calculate with uh, 20,000 rupees. Anything that is your choice. And uh, uh, baseline date is uh, 01.11.2023. And the text is purchasing raw material from vendor. And the posting key will be what? What would be the posting key? That is 70. Uh, text is purchasing raw material from vendor. Purchasing raw material from vendor and the posting key will be uh, 70 70. Just give the posting key as 70 and take out the asset uh, asset uh, related accounts. So that is plant and machinery. We have created the plant and machinery, right? Mm. Give the company code and go to the continue option and take out the uh, 9000 main asset. So one is the sub asset, right? So we don't have any uh, asset related um, special GL indicators and all. OK, that is the most important point right now we have. And at the same time, when it comes to the transaction type, there, there could be uh, different types of uh, transaction types, all of you. And in uh, interview point of view, they will just ask you those questions. OK, so please be aware of all these things. And uh, when it comes to the testing only, they will just ask you the question. OK, so that is the most important point right now we have. <coughs> OK, now uh, 
when it comes to the uh, asset transaction type, okay, give the uh, external acquisitions. Yes. Give the external acquisitions, that's it. Okay, now you can just click on the enter. So in the amount you can. Uh, no amount authorization for uh, customers or vendors in company code. What is the tolerance group that you have entered? Check it. What is your tolerance group for the particular company code? Torrance group uh, defined, not defined under. Yes, is a F dash ninety transaction called really. Just give all the details and the text and just give the account number that uh, that is vendor account and transaction type. on the end there and just give the and uh, posting key is a 70 and uh, accounting is a plant and missionary account In the in the just amount, just give star and text as plus. That's it. Click on the enter, go to the silver and in the amount you can just give star and in the text you can just give plus. So when you purchase the asset from the vendor, okay, we can to have the one account. Entry that is main asset account data to the vendor account credit, right? So, what is the vendor account posting key? They will just ask you that even is the posting key, okay? And what would be the uh, main asset account uh, uh, 
posting um, uh, key, the account posting key, that is a seventy, right? So go to the same button and save it. Okay, so this asset has been created. Okay, with the document, and we have acquired that asset. So if you want to see the uh, thing. OK, like uh, the entry and all you do have the transaction code FB03. Go to the transaction code FB03. <clears throat> FB03 transaction code and you do have the uh, asset accounting entry also. OK, so you have the document number also. Click on the enter. You can able to get the entry. OK, so what is that entry? You can able to see it. OK, so the next one, if you want to see the asset master record, OK, this asset master record. So you can able to uh, use the one transaction code that is AS03. Go to the transaction code AS03. You can able to have the asset master record. OK, so this is the asset, right? And the sub number is zero. Click on the enter. So if you want to see the asset master records, so, OK, you can able to see it. OK, display of the assets. That's it. So come back to this thing. Uh, then next one is we have to see the asset explorer. Oh, OK, asset explorer ni create here. OK, so if you create an asset scheme, manum depreciation and the calculator in the first of all, try it. OK, so we using transaction code AW01N. OK, so go to the transaction code AW01N. OK, now you can able to see ordinary depreciation is uh, okay, a one amount calculator. So <clears throat> the most important thing is that Manaki year starting in the uh, depreciation and the post of the like about the year ending the post of the like a post a manam itching capitalization date in the post of the and it is chala chala important. Go to the posted values. Go to the posted values. Go to the posted values. So in the posted values, all of you, you can able to see what is the exact depreciation for the particular asset. OK, and at the same time, my correspondence uh, things low, my asset ni acquire a vendor that can acquire a asset. We got already left side low, a vendor and a chance in the matter. You can make sure name either plan depreciation for the eighth period. My automatic calculations this could to know cavity. OK, based on the months, based on the dates. OK, dates me, but to calculate just. OK, I mean uh, one month ki 30 days and uh, month ki 31 days together. So based on that thing only. So this is calculating children posted values law. One of 83 rupees and I think when I can go just in the matter. OK, so first first period in the seventh period work on a key depreciation led in the country. One of the post say the cover then next one is when I get planned depreciation is a man in general law when I get ordinary depreciation managers and that means straight line method uh, uses can work ordinary depreciation and the post just to know you put post chest to know more and then I can mean reason in the our period low capitalization date me basis coni depreciation amount and I the calculator value. OK, so if you do mid November this could be number any days in the monarchy normal got 30 days in the so if you do eat 30 days low in the calculator out on the 83 rupees calculator then next month next month in the calculator out on the 84 rupees and the calculator are the uh, based on the automatic rounding calculations and matter. OK, so why are your transaction codes look well then we got to make a let choose coach. OK, so this is the uh, exact depreciation that we need to calculate. OK, e exact depreciations and enemy delayed and got the basic. One of the testing around a So how you can able to calculate each and everything? 
అనేది మనం కంపల్సరిగా క్యాల్కులేషన్స్ చేసుకోవాలి అప్పుడు మనం త్రీ యూస్ఫుల్ లైఫ్ ఇయర్స్ని చేసాం కాబట్టి మన కరెస్పాండెన్స్ ట్యాప్స్లో మనం ఈ వెండార్ని బేస్ చేసుకొని మనకి ఒక అసెట్లో డిప్రిసియేషన్ అంటే ఒక త్రీ ఇయర్స్ తర్వాత డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఎంత తగ్గుతుంది త్రీ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ సెవెంటీన్ రూపీస్ అనేది డిప్రిసియేషన్ తగ్గుతుంది ఇట్స్ ఎ కంటిన్యూస్ ప్రాసెస్ ఓకే ప్రతి మంత్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ క్యాల్కులేషన్ చేసుకుంటాం మంత్ ఎండింగ్ యాక్టివిటీస్లో ఓకే సో పారామీటర్స్ని బేస్ చేసుకుని ఏం పారామీటర్స్ని సో గో టు ద పారామీటర్స్ స్టాప్ ఏమేం పారామీటర్స్ని బేస్ చేసుకొని మీరు ఈ అసెట్ని డిప్రిసియేషన్ని పోస్ట్ చేస్తున్నారు చూసుకోండి ఓకే సో స్ట్రైక్ లైన్ మెథడ్స్ని బేస్ చేసుకుని ఈ అసెట్ని పోస్ట్ చేస్తున్నాం అనమాట ఇక్కడ మీకు ఆర్డినరీ డిప్రిసియేషన్ స్టార్ట్ డేట్ అనేది జీరో వన్ డాట్ లెవెన్ డాట్ టూ థౌసండ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ నుంచి వచ్చింది ఓకే సో దట్ ఈస్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్ రైట్ నా వీ హ్యా and then next one is uh we will going to see the asset reports okay so s underscore l r underscore one three five eight nine seven will be the i think so so go to this uh word document so you do have the uh asset uh no 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 a a not a s underscore l r underscore eight seven zero double one nine six five four is so take out this uh, transaction code and just uh, uh, search it with the transaction things so see all of you you do have the company code okay so you do have the reporting date చూడండి ఎప్పుడైనా రియల్ టైమ్ లో కూడా మీకు రియల్ టైమ్ డేట్స్ అండ్ రిపోర్టింగ్ డేట్స్ ఏ డిప్రిసియేషన్ ఏరియాస్ ని బేస్ చేసుకుంటున్నారు అండ్ ఏ షార్ట్ అవుట్ వర్షన్స్ అంటే కంపెనీ కోడ్ కి రిలేటెడ్ సంబంధించిన ఐటమ్స్ ని బ్యాలెన్స్ షీట్ అకౌంట్స్ ని ఓకే ఫైనాన్షియల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ వర్షన్స్ ని యూజింగ్ అర్థమాటిక్ లాంగింగ్ వాల్యూస్ గ్రిడ్ ని బేస్ చేసుకొని మనం ఈ రిపోర్ట్ ని ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ చేస్తాం అనమాట బేస్డ్ ఆన్ అవర్ కంపెనీ కోట అంతే కదా సో గో టు ద ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఆప్షన్ go to the execute option so ipudu ee asset ki sambandhinchina dantlo meeru asset balances enta post chesaru ante a depreciation i sorry a asset class ni base chestunnaru a account ni base chestunnaru a description ni base chestunnaru a company code ni a balance sheet items ni base chestukoni acquisition value entu undi anedi meer ikkada ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయొచ్చు అనమాట సో ఈ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేసిన దాంట్లో మనం ట్వంటీ థౌసండ్ రూపీస్ అనేది చేసాము అండ్ అకామలేటెడ్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ వచ్చేసి మనకి ఫోర్ వన్ సెవెన్ రూపీస్ ఉంది ఫర్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ మంత్ ఓకే సో మీరు ఇక్కడ చూసుకుంటే ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ డాట్ లెవెన్ డాట్ టూ థౌసండ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీలో మీకు చూడండి ఆ పర్టికులర్ ఇయర్ లో ఈ మంత్ కి ఫోర్ వన్ సెవెన్ అనే ఒక డిప్రిసియేషన్ అకామలేటెడ్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ అనేది క్యాల్కులేట్ అవుతుంది అనమాట సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద వే యూ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు టెస్ట్ asset uh, depreciation okay and uh, at the same time exploring of the asset is also very very important avuna kada so ee asset explorer ki sambandhinchinavi manam upload cheyali anante there could be some possible reasons okay based on the a depreciation ni base cheskoni meeru ee assets ni post chestunnaru okay so errors vachinappudu meeru ela calculate chestunnaru and at the same time all of you while we will ok question adutar ante user level lo access ni base i mean user access ni base cheskoni vallu ok asset report ni chudali anante vallu ela chusukuntaru okay what could be the possible reasons ani cheppesi adugutaru kuda so appudu meer em chestaru ante nenu meeku oka kotta path cheptanu so dantlo meeku easy ga artham ayipothundi slash n direct ga sap easy access lo ki velipondi slash n ichesi ikkada manam అకౌంటింగ్ లో ఐ మీన్ ఎస్ఎపి మెను డైరెక్ట్ గా ఈ ఎస్ఎపి మెనులోనే మనకు ఒక అకౌంటింగ్ ట్యాబ్ అనేది ఉందనమాట సో ఈ అకౌంటింగ్ ట్యాబ్ ను ఓపెన్ చేయండి ఈ అకౌంటింగ్ ట్యాబ్ లో ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ అనేది ఒకటి ఉంటుంది సో ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ లో సి ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఇదంతా యూజర్ యూజర్ కి ఉండే స్క్రీన్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ స్క్రీన్ మంద్ వేరు ఎస్ ఎస్పిఆర్ఓ అంటాం చూసాడు ఓకేనా సో మనం ఫాలో అయ్యే పాత్ ని ఓకే బ్యాక్ ఎండ్ లో డెవలప్ చేసేదాన్ని ఎస్పిఆర్ఓ రిఫరెన్స్ ఐఎంజీ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ గైడ్స్ ని బేస్ చేసుకుని చేస్తాం ఓకేనా సో ఇక్కడ యూజర్ లెవెల్ లో ఉంటున్నాం యూజర్ ఒక అసెట్ రిపోర్ట్ ని ఎలా చూసుకుంటాడు అసెట్ ఎక్స్ప్లోర్ ని ఎలా చేస్తారు ఓకే సో ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ యూ డూ హ్యావ్ ది ఫిక్స్డ్ అసెట్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది ఫిక్స్డ్ అసెట్స్ యూ డూ హ్యావ్ ది అసెట్
Mm, after that uh, asset, you do have the periodic processing, right? Ah, yes, come down. See all of you. Display is an asset explorer. There is a periodic processing. So based on that periodic processing, so you do have the depreciation run. You can just able to have it. OK, so primary cost. See, that is the primary cost planning uh, reports and all. OK, you do one thing. Uh, after the period processing, uh, you have information system. In the information system, you do have the reports on uh, asset accounting. OK, reports on asset accounting. So in that, uh, see all of you, you do have individual assets and asset balances. So individual asset is there, right? Open the individual asset. See, you can just able to have it. So AW01N and asset balances, balances list, inventory list, lease list, country specifications. OK, you do have a lot of lists. OK, if you want to explore all of these things, you can explore it on your free time. OK. So how we are identifying these asset balances? OK, so those things are mandatory. OK, there could be a sample of address and a ray, uh, transportation equipment and uh, asset balances for a group assets. There could be a, uh, different types of um, asset reports uh, transaction quotes all of you. OK, so whatever the list is that you want to enable so you can enable it. Uh, OK, so these uh, this is the exact path you have to know. OK, in the interview they will just ask you the question. How you are exploring the things and uh, what could be the. Uh, well, I mean they 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 just ask you those questions on asset uh, balances. OK, so just try to remember two or three transaction codes based on the asset number, based on the asset class, based on the business areas, based on the cost center, based on the plan, based on the location, based on the uh, supplier number, based on the works list. OK, so already uh, I mean every time we see all these things, right? And so I can remember. And now I will show you how you can able to uh, find out these lists. OK, so when it comes to the asset balances, OK, so there is a balance list. Is. Balance list, open the balance list. Oh, see all of you. So asset balances are there. OK, in that asset balances, OK, you can just have the transaction codes by asset number, by asset class, by business areas. OK. So this is the most important uh, uh, testing things we have for the users. OK, user will going to test it anyway, but uh, before that you have to give the user acceptance training to the uh, end users, right? Like client end users. OK, while the client end users give me training evaluate first me go OK, that is the most important point right now we have. 